Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and I am here with SCP-1033, also known as the 32nd Man. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. Item number, SCP-1033. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1033 is to be held in a 15 meter by 5 meter sand cell lined with 5 meter thick lead plating. Personnel entering SCP-1033's chamber must wear approved level A hazmat suits. If 1033's routine changes or if SCP-1033 attempts to escape, the two guards stationed outside SCP-1033's chamber are to be reinforced with eight more, all armed with containment kit at 4 MK3, consisting of a Scarl assault rifle with underbarrel net launcher, two flashbang grenades, and one M67 and fragmentation grenade. Description SCP 1033 is a middle aged Caucasian male, approximately 193 centimeters or 6 feet and 4 inches tall. SCP 1033 was discovered in New York, having, according to several witnesses, materialized in the middle of the road. Interviews with witnesses found that people in the area experienced a vision encompassing a white flash accompanied by hearing a two-second burst of static from all directions. Witnesses were administered a Class A amnestic after the completion of the interview, followed by a, a media blackout regarding the incident. <clears throat> Upon this runs action at the site of materialization, Foundation researchers found that SCP-1033 was emitting well over the instantaneous lethal dose rate limited of high-energy gamma neutron and X radiation of approximately 15,000 SV per hour. SCP-1033 was initially contained with a shipping container surrounded by lead bricks, which was placed in its path. SV-1033 was uh, subsequently moved to storage site K-A blank, where he now resides. In all physical aspects, SCP-1033 is an unremarkable, balding, middle-aged male. He is dressed in a business suit and carrying a briefcase. SCP-1033's behavior is cyclic, with each cycle beginning approximately every 33 seconds. The following timeline is a transcription of that routine. For the first and seconds, SCP-1033 walks 30 paces forward, glancing at his watch approximately every 10 seconds. From 10 to 15 seconds, SCP-1033 stops, kneels, and opens his briefcase. Inside the briefcase is a single envelope marked with an unknown seal and a prepaid blank brand of mobile phone. Capable of sending and receiving text messages and calls, SV-1033 opens the envelope and pulls out a sheet of paper marked with the words Cable, Asymmetric Cipher, 0-U-U, capital T, 5, capital L, M, O, capital O, 2, 2. Let's ruffle feathers. 15 to 21 seconds. SCP-1033 types out the code in a text message to the Australian mobile phone the number 0404 or blank. Investigation of the number has yet to be assigned to any mobile phone. At 21 seconds in, SCP-1033 sends a message, puts the phone and letter back in the briefcase. 21 to 28 seconds. SCP-1033 is observed looking into the distance regardless what is actually in front of him. At 25 seconds in, SV-1033 starts to chuckle oh, quietly, having apparently spotted what he was looking for on the horizon. 28 to 33 seconds. At 28 seconds, SCP-1033 is blown backwards three meters and is observed riding on the ground, screaming in apparent agony. Lashes seems being stripped off and flying behind and SCP-1033, as other parts of him disintegrate. The injuries of SCP-1033 sustains correspond to that with that of a victim of a a 1.5 megaton nuclear device being detonated in close proximity. 
After completion of this routine, SCP-1033 immediately reappears as a service routine in mid-step and begins to cycle again. If an object's human or an animal ascends in the path of SCP-1033, he will make no attempt to stop and will continue his cycle, pushing whatever obstacle in his way along with him. <sighs> so SCP-1033 is a man who is experiencing something that apparently will happen a long time into the future, such as a nuclear a warhead and, uh, hitting wherever he might be. I'm guessing it has something to do with a possible oh, wartime event or something. I'm not sure, though. Anyway... If you enjoyed this, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. And if you did not enjoy this, please don't waste six minutes of your life listening to someone talk about other things you don't enjoy listening to. I'll see you next time.